Hello, Momos. Welcome back to my channel. Wow. <laughs> I've got some explaining to do. Um, it's probably kind of loud, so I apologize, but it's like 78 degrees. I'm in my car, I've got the windows down, and I ain't rolling them up for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I'd do anything for you. Um, so yeah about that video that i posted some of y'all have probably already forgotten about it or never even saw it because i took it down pretty stinking fast i don't know if it was a full 24 or like 24 hours or what but it came down pretty quick but the video that i'm talking about is i posted a like sleep tips video or i think it was titled like how i got my three month old to sleep through the night and I took it down pretty quickly. Let me explain why. Well, it's been an interesting season, you guys. I have felt very inadequate, like to the point that it has really, really messed with me mentally. Like I have just continuously felt like I'm not a good mom. I'm not a good daughter. I'm not a good person online. I'm just bad all around in every area of my life. Just bad, bad, bad. That's what I've been feeling for like a while. And I'd say that I am starting to finally come out of that. Praise God, because honestly, it's been a really, really trying um, season of life very humbling because you know it sucks to feel inadequate and just weak and kind of pathetic in all areas of your life but there is something really beautiful about it because when we come to the end of ourselves we get to meet Jesus in a whole new way and we're really just forced into situations where like there's nothing, no strength that I have could be useful or helpful or beneficial or I don't even have any strength to do this. Like, I need Christ to come through for me. I need my Heavenly Father to move because I can't do it. And so for a while there, I was waking up every day just feeling so weak so mentally physically drained spiritually exhausted and i was just like i had to just pray every day god i need your strength to get through this day um and it, it's good it's also kind of sad to be like i need your strength to get through this day like help me just get to back to the point where i can go back to sleep like that's not a super fun place to be wow i don't know what's going on but I'm not near any construction site, but apparently I am, so I apologize. But anywho, that's not really a fun place to be, but it's a necessary place to go sometimes, many times throughout our life, and I guess God was like, now's the time, sweetie! <laughs> um, and so I'm slowly coming out of that and praising the Lord for his just steadfast strength and grace that he gives me each day. He's teaching me things. He's, a little bit, he's teaching me how to be patient. He's teaching me not to crumble when one thing goes wrong. That doesn't mean everything is going wrong. I don't know if I've shared this before or not, but I am the type of person that like when one thing isn't like going amazing, I immediately start to think, well, that just means that everything in my life is just falling apart. My marriage is collapsing. My my friends I don't have any. My finances are horrible. And it's like, that's not even true like at all. But my mind wants to go there. So <laughs> I posted. <coughs> wow. One moment. Mm. I'm drinking this. 
I have a lot of friends and family that drink this on a regular basis. I've never had one, but wow, they're good. So good. But there's, it says zero sugar, but that's not true because if you look down here, sucralose, which is sugar. So I don't know how they can get away with that, but occasionally, and it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine per bo bottle, can. So, when I posted that sleeping video, I um, really like, it wasn't getting hate or anything like that. Um, you know, there were people sharing their thoughts and opinions and that was totally fine. But one person commented something and it was like, wow, like it must be really nice to have a baby that is just like really like chill tempered and like doesn't require much um work or whatever which like all babies no matter how chill tempered they are require a ton of work so yeah um but i don't know the way she worded it it took me back to when i was probably like six weeks postpartum four weeks postpartum i don't know and i was very very fragile because whew, hormones cray cray newborn cray cray um and I just remember like seeing someone post something on Instagram. I don't even remember what it was, but I remember that I just like started weeping because I was just like, my baby's not doing that. Which like, Luca wasn't even remotely the same age as that baby. Luca was a newborn. This baby was like nine months old. <laughs> and I'm over here like, my baby's not doing that. Um, and I just like had a emotional meltdown and I don't think that this girl had an emotional meltdown watching my video, but I was just like, <sighs> I just feel like this video could make a young mama, new mom, second time, third time, fourth time mom, watch this desperate for answers for sleep because we've all been there desperate in that like just season of life where we're just desperate to get our baby to sleep and it's like we don't have the answer and so we're looking all over the place for answers and I just felt like someone might watch this video and just feel really defeated because their baby might struggle harder to sleep or uh, need a lot more help in sleeping or you know they're breastfeeding so they can't do what I did because I'm not breastfeeding anymore or I stopped breastfeeding early on and they're going on seven months like whatever I don't know I just I know that like I can't make a video to please everyone but I just watching it back was just like I feel like this video is just not as helpful or encouraging as it could be and also like there are so many videos out there from like straight up sleep experts, baby sleep experts that you can watch that I just felt like this video is just not necessary. Um, you know, if we're on Instagram and you wanna ask me sleep questions, go for it. But I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't beneficial to you all. And I, also on top of that was just like who the heck am i to be giving sleep training tips i don't know anything like i figured stuff some stuff out and also luca was super chill but yeah <laughs> so like i just i took it down and that's that that's the story nothing too crazy but the reason i shared like the whole inadequate inadequate thing is because that did play a little into why I took the video down. I think watching it back, I was just like, like I said, who the heck am I to be sharing this? I'm not sharing this. Take this down. You look so dumb sharing this. You, you're not smart enough to be sharing anything about this, which like partially is true. Like I know nothing. <laughs> I'm just like winging it and flinging it, but not really. Okay. Actually, I am going to give myself a little credit. I've done a ton of research about different things. And so you know and studying my little baby boy Luca and learning his sleep wake windows cues sleep cues whatever not the point but 
so I'm not a total dum dum winging it. Every time a car drives by, I just take a sip. Well, not every time. I've taken a sip in a car and didn't drive by, but anytime a car does drive by, I take a sip and act like I'm not filming because I'm like, oh, they're gonna think I'm weird. <laughs> Get over it. This is my job. <laughs> I just told that guy. Just kidding. There was no one there. So, yeah, guys, that's that. Going through this season of feeling it's very inadequate and I'm just going to say it, dumb and just like bleh, I have really struggled with YouTube. I've really struggled with going live on our other channel. I've really struggled with posting on Instagram. I've really struggled... Obviously, I haven't posted anything on here really in a while. Um, because when you feel inadequate and you feel dumb and you feel like you're barely hanging on, it's like I've just felt like I have nothing to give. Like, I can't. What am I got to say? What do I have to say? Like, nothing. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm barely hanging on. I'm at begging the Lord for strength every single day like morning afternoon and night you know i can't get online and act like my life is all together and give encouragement or advice or even my own thoughts and opinions on stuff because honestly i don't have really a lot of thoughts or opinions on things at the moment i mean i'm getting back to having thoughts <laughs> but yeah that's just where I've been but again praise God I do feel like I'm coming out of that I feel the weight lifting and I don't feel like I'm totally out of it but something that I was talking to Paul about recently was just that when we when I had Luca we had talked like okay I'm gonna take a break from YouTube for like a good while and in my mind I'm thinking like three months I'm not gonna post I'm not gonna get on the Paul Morgan channel like I'm gonna be gone and that didn't happen. <laughs> two weeks later, I think it was two weeks, maybe less, I don't know. Um, I was back on our other channel and was back like basically after that for good. And I really don't think that that was wise. I think my brain was so mushed up and I was very much figuring out what it was like to be a mom and a wife and a daughter and a friend and a blah 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 and so then to just throw business and like you know that's the reality of it like our youtube channels are our business but also they're just really fun and a ministry and an encouragement and just creative outlets um but like to jump back into work immediately was just like what looking back i'm like what the heck why did we do that? Why did I do that? Um, it really was me. Like, Paul wasn't like, get back to work. Like, I just was kind of like, I'm good. Even though I wasn't. <laughs> so I think, like, just recently me stepping back from posting regular content on Instagram on here. Um, I still am on the Paul and Morgan channel, but it's been a good break for me. And I will come back to more regular content, but I just really am focusing on being a mama and a wife and like, and doing business. And it's taking time, a lot more time than I think I even thought it was going to take, definitely. And I think that I shared this in my last sit down video on the toilet. If you know, you know. I will get back to regular stuff but I'm thankful for you guys hanging out with me and watching videos when they do pop up. I'm sorry this video took so long to get out of there. Love you all so much. Comment below and just say hey. <laughs> Let me know how you doing. How's life? Can you relate to feeling inadequate? I have a feeling you probably can, so... Spread the love that I'm not alone. Alright, have a great rest of your day. 
I'll see you again at some point soon-ish. Turn the bell on so that you know when a video drops. And subscribe if you haven't, because why not? Bye. Remember that Jesus is the answer.